it is Wednesday, April 8th, I believe, and this is another edition of Miss Martell Read You Some Stories. Uh, I have my lovely plant here that I forgot about and almost, it almost died, so it's getting some indirect sunlight at the moment. So, longest thing I've kept alive besides myself and Gizmo. Um, so, we are starting the Bruce series. I love it. I love this grumpy little bear and I love these silly ducklings and these little mice. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to point out some of the vocab words as I go through and I love, love, love the illustrations in this story. Um, I forgot one of them at school so we will not get to hear Santa Bruce but it's kind of past that time anyway. So we have Mother Bruce. Something to talk about is that Goose is crossed off and Bruce is in its place. So this bear is in a case of mistaken identity because these goslings think that he is their mother. Let's see. So this is written and illustrated by Ryan T. Higgins. Dun, da, da, da. Now this is not a hardcover book, so bear with me if it, the book starts flopping around. First of all, I love the illustration because I can, I feel like I can see in my mind a moment where I've been walking through the woods in the morning. So this is a connection I have right away. Is have you ever had an experience like this where you're taking a walk in the woods and you see the sun coming up? Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. He did not like rain. He did not like sunny days. He did not like cute little animals. only liked one thing. All right, plan. Ooh. Eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. You can see he's going in there. Bruce didn't, but Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with a honey salmon sauce, so he went out to get the ingredients. Now, I like to talk about this illustration because what's going on here? What's something we know that this is a fictional story, this is make-believe. So I notice a grocery cart. Hmm. So his grocery store is the forest. Would you actually see a bear walking through the forest with a grocery cart? No. First, he caught fresh salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses, you see. Now, what is shopping local or supporting local? That's something that we hear a lot about, especially now with so many small businesses being closed. So maybe that's a conversation you can have with your family. What is a local business? And what are some of your favorites that you like in your area? Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are these eggs free range organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. But the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcomed surprise. Mama! 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 Bruce became the victim of a mistaken identity. Bruce 
wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for butter, buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason, he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. Only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Be back in April, Mother Goose. So what is it called when a bird flies south for the winter? Hmm, what is that word? Bears hibernate, but birds or a lot of birds do something called, they migrate. So she migrated south early. He took her eggs and she was like, see you later. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. Mama? Mama? But he was followed. Bruce was very stern and said things like, Go away! And, I am not your mother! And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. Rawr! But they don't understand why he's mad. It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Mama! Mama? So he looks very begrudging, He's begrudgingly walking away and letting them follow. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. So he's teaching them how to swim. Cute. It was hard work. Yeah. Ew, yuck. As the seasons pass, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Annoying baby geese, stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw some goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese and he could take a long winter's nap. explained migration but they didn't listen Bruce needed the geese to leave so he got creative he made a slingshot nothing worked the geese would not leave Sigh. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus and migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade, while Bruce dreams of new recipes, recipes that don't hatch. Mama? Now I love this because now a turtle thinks that this gosling is his mom. Dun, dun, dun. Wouldn't we love to be at a beach right now? Oh. I hope you enjoyed this story.